Good evening. Um, my name's Alicia. I live in western Pennsylvania. I live on one acre and it is ridiculously hot this week for this area. Uh, we live on one acre, we garden, and we have a small flock of laying hens. Now typically that small flock of laying hens is in a stationary run when the weather's bad and if our chicken tractor's broken, which it is right now. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna be asking you. I'm gonna explain what we have and anybody out there that has ideas for making it lighter and easier to move, please share in the comments. Essentially what we have here is a eight by eight by four foot box. Um, there's the perch space in the center. They are the two by four that runs high, which they use a lot. Um, when we initially designed it, we designed it with kind of that indoor space there, um, and we had wire along the bottom, we had a door on that. We weren't sure if we were going to have predator issues getting inside the tractor at night, so we set that up in such a way that we could kind of enclose them within the tractor. We don't need that. That right there is a place where we can eliminate some weight. We also have cross braces that are way too big. In the chicken tractor, we have three doors. So we have this door here, which opens to a nesting box. We use a plastic crate um, with either wood shavings or hay and straw. Um, I do like this like this being on the side of the tractor so that if I'm coming up to check eggs I'm not having to walk along the back where the chicken manure is if I'm in my good um, shoes from work. We've got this door here which I like. Hang on we're gonna prop her up. Um, this door is really nice um, because we're able to open it. Um, we hang the food in the water from this 2x4 so the hay in the water, or the, the hay in the water, the feed in the water, move with the chicken tractor. We don't have to do anything with that when it's time to move it, it just goes with it. Um, and we're able to access it without fear of the chickens, you know, fear, but fear of the chickens getting out, especially if we're having one of our girls or a friend or a neighbor or a pet sitter do this. We don't have to worry about the chickens getting out because Nothing makes an adult look more ridiculous than attempting to catch a loose chicken. Okay, so along the back here, we've got our door where we accessed if we need to go in. That's a lot of times when we're turning them into the chicken tractor, that's the door we use, or if we're going in to catch them. Um, we've got the chick lift along the back, and this is what we use to be able to move it. And we've got about three quarters of the top covered um, for shade purposes. Now, initially we only had about half of it covered. We did realize that in the heat of the summer, it is important to have more shade, or if we have a really rainy chunk of time, they're gonna get out and graze more if they're not grazing in downpouring rain. And this is our handle that we use to move it along the front. Um, now, right now, the most chickens that we consistently used this for was eight chickens. Um, we went down to six. We lost two due to sickness. Um, and we've added four chicks. So we're up to 10. We feel like 10 is our max. So at 64 square feet of grazing space, we've got about six square feet per bird, which is within reason. We don't really want to go any higher than that. Um, in terms of this footprint. So, if you have ideas for making this more efficient um, and easier to move, our backyard is fairly hilly um, and we've got a lot of trees in the, in the yard. So there's a lot of obstacles to move around. So getting a bigger footprint really isn't an option. And there's those that tell me to free range my chickens um, in the comments sometimes when I show the tractor. Um, that's not possible either in the area that we live in. We do live on one acre, but it's a long, narrow lot. And if we free ranged our chickens, <clears throat> they would be 
in our garden, tearing our plants out, in our neighbor's garden, tearing our plants out, um, and in the road um, that people drive entirely too fast on. So um, this is a way to guarantee they continuously have fresh grazing space. Um, it distributes the manure evenly throughout the backyard and kind of works really well for the environment we're in. Um, we have um, multiple Cooper's Hawks um, that we see flying around here on a regular basis and they eat birds. Um, so, free range is not in our plan for right now. So I'm just gonna kind of do a slow loop around, open it up, show you the inside, give me ideas for making this lighter in the comments. Here's the front. And also we would ultimately like um, to be able to use as much of the materials we currently have on this as possible um, so that what we would like to lighten it so we will use we'll either rip some of these boards that are still in good shape in half um, or we will need to purchase a little bit so this right here is definitely something that we don't need to keep of course as soon as I say that we're gonna need it um, we have way more perch space in here than necessary for 10 birds um, they do really like this center two by four they spend a lot of time up here um, so here's the inside the best that I can show this board along the back is the one that gets the most abuse the one the wheels are on um, now typically when this is broken when we fix it we get more time than we got out of this one so this has only been fixed maybe a week or so and it broke so we usually get maybe it might break once a summer or once every other summer this one we had a two by four that broke along the back and then this one broke like a week later here's the other side and there obviously I can't move it right now because that back board is broken so it has successfully kept predators out for 20 2019 was the first summer we've used it um, so it has successfully kept predators out for that many years it, with some slight modifications it has worked for that many years but it is time to tear apart and reset we've got about a week and a half before we're gonna have time to tackle this project feel free to give us ideas Good morning, ladies. Chicks are still learning how to move with the tractor. The old lady hen's just lying right up right along the front. 